Imagine being locked up in a place where fear rules and survival is a daily battle. Welcome to the world's most dangerous prisons. These are the grim realities of life behind bars in the globe's most notorious penitentiaries. From institutions steeped in political controversy to those known for their brutal living conditions, these prisons have earned their chilling reputations. Get ready to delve into the dark corners of the globe where humanity often takes a back seat. First on our list, the notorious Guantanamo Bay, a symbol of the war on terror. Located off the coast of Cuba, Guantanamo Bay was opened in 2002 under the direction of President George W. Bush. Following the September 11th attacks, President Bush initiated the War on Terror and commissioned Guantanamo Bay to serve as a military prison. This prison has been a subject of global controversy, largely due to the indefinite detention of prisoners without trial and the routine use of torture, including a horrific method known as waterboarding. The chilling reports don't end there, as several suicides and numerous suicide attempts have been documented within its walls. These grim realities have painted a bleak picture of Guantanamo Bay, drawing widespread criticism and sparking a heated debate over human rights. Guantanamo Bay, a prison that has sparked global debate over human rights. Next, we journey to Alcatraz, a prison that still lives in infamy long after its closure. Nestled on an island just off the vibrant city of San Francisco, Alcatraz was a place of desolation and despair. Its remote location made it the ideal facility to house high-risk and dangerous criminals. It was a place where hope was scarce and freedom a distant dream. Life within the cold, damp walls of Alcatraz was nothing short of hellish. The relentless violence and abysmal living conditions drove many inmates to the brink of insanity. Some even found death a welcome escape, succumbing to suicide. This penitentiary was home to some of the most notorious criminals of its era, earning it the chilling moniker Helcatraz. In its heyday, Alcatraz was more than a prison. It was a symbol of punishment, an embodiment of society's retribution. Today, it stands as a haunting emblem of a time when humanity was secondary to retribution. Alcatraz, a chilling reminder of a prison system designed to break the human spirit. San Quentin, a name synonymous with America's death row. This California Titan, opened in 1852, stands as the oldest prison in the state. Its reputation? Housing some of the most dangerous men in the nation. The New York Times once deemed it the largest death row in the Western Hemisphere. Over 400 souls have met their end here since 1893. The facilities, outdated and grimy, offer little in terms of healthcare. San Quentin, a place where hope is a scarce commodity. From America, we move to Rwanda's Muhanga Prison, a testament to inhumanity. Originally built to house 400 prisoners, it swelled to a horrifying 7,000. The living conditions are beyond deplorable, with rampant gangrene due to the unsanitary environment. Prisoners are often forced to stand on wet, filthy ground all day, leading to severe health complications. There are even chilling reports of cannibalism, a desperate act of survival in this hellish place. Muhanga Prison, where survival is a daily struggle. Let's travel to Brazil's Carandiru Penitentiary, a place that witnessed one of the worst prison massacres. Established in the Roaring Twenties, Carandiru was once the largest prison in South America, housing over 8,000 inmates. The living conditions were abysmal, marked by poor quality of life, rampant health issues, and numerous human rights violations. The tipping point was the infamous Karandiru Massacre, a chilling event that started with a football game, escalated into a riot, and ended with the military police being called in. The result was a bloodbath, with 111 prisoners dead, their bodies riddled with over 500 bullets. The trials that followed were eventually deemed null, leaving a dark stain on Karandiru's history. Karandiru Penitentiary, a haunting reminder of unchecked power and human rights violations. Lastly, we arrive at ADX Florence, a supermax prison housing the worst of the worst. Nestled amidst the rugged beauty of Fremont County, Colorado, this fortress-like institution 
is a stark contrast to the serene surroundings. It is a supermax prison, a level beyond maximum security, specially designed to confine the most violent and threatening criminals. Each of the 359 detainees here poses a grave risk to prison staff, fellow inmates, and potentially national security. They are kept in small cells for 23 hours each day, a testament to the extremely restrictive conditions of their confinement. These men are the embodiment of society's nightmares, locked away in a place where hope is a scarce commodity. ADX Florence, a fortress of despair where the most dangerous criminals are banished.